Welcome to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. Come on, baby. That's a giant. With James Holtz and the IDO fishing team. On the ice, chasing the hottest bites. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Hey everyone, James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors. And on today's episode, we've got a fairly unique show for you. Uh, typically, we're out there on the ice, chasing the hottest bites and the biggest fish. And we're gonna do some of that. But we're also gonna talk ice rods. It's the one thing that all ice anglers have in common. No matter what we fish for or how we fish, we've got one of these in our hands. And really, as we start this show, I wanna get people thinking about the, a basic premise. And that's that when you're talking panfish rods, regardless of who made that rod, that rod will fall into two basic types of categories. It's either going to be a rod that senses the bite by feel, like the Thorn Brothers Quiver Stick, or a rod like this Power Noodle that has a very soft action that's designed to show the bite visually so an angler can see the deflection of the rod tip and know when to set the hook. So we're going to go out on the ice with Chris Granru. We're going to show you what makes each of those two rods so special. And then we're going to come back in the custom rod shop here at Thorn Brothers and talk to some of the guys responsible for these incredible blanks. So stick around. You're going to enjoy the show. Oh, that's a nice fish. Boy, what's, what's fantastic about these power noodles is that a lot of times these big bluegills, they hardly, they hardly move at all with the bait. They just suck it in. Oh my goodness, and this is a good one. And you can visually see that bite uh, by watching the tip of the power noodle. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> and when I'm saying big bluegills, I'm talking about big bluegills. And when these big bluegills hit your bait, a lot of times they don't move at all. They're not expecting the spike to fight. Basically, they sit there right next to it, they'll suck it in, move it a quarter of an inch with that power noodle. You can see that really, really subtle bite. I think it's probably the only rod you could use to see that kind of bite. Wow, that is a tank. That is a tank. <laughs> big, big bluegills right there. Big bluegills on a power noodle. And let me tell you, beyond effective, incredibly fun to fight on a power noodle. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. You know, I think everybody understands the concept of a noodle rod, and uh, a lot of people will actually put a spring bobber on, maybe a little heavier rod. Um, what makes the power noodle so great is it's basically a built-in spring bobber. In this particular rod versus a noodle rod, you have the very spring-like action, yet you've got some backbone in the rod. So, yeah, very visual. You can see this bite up or down. But when you get the hook set, you actually have some backbone. Take a look at the flex on that rod. The power noodle is not a complete noodle rod up and down from the tip all the way to the cork. Very visual, yet some backbone. Land bigger fish with it, yet you can still see it. Best of both worlds in my mind. You can see that. Just I'm barely moving that rod. I'm moving, I'm moving my bait an inch. And by moving the bait an inch, you can see what that rod tip flexing in and out. You can see right now, by looking at the tip of that rod, it's under just a little bit of load. A lot of times those bluegills, they'll come in and they'll lift it up. And you can see the difference just by a little diamond jig, under load, lift it up. And a lot of times those big fish will do that. You're gonna get that slack. Sometimes it's very, very tough, especially when people are using a really light line, a mono. It's much easier to see it on the tip of the power noodle versus line watching. Basically what I do is I'm watching my Markham, until I can see him make some sort of a commitment. And when he makes a commitment and he gets on top of me, I'll hover, I'll hover my rod, but I'll look right at the tip here anymore. I'm not going to look at my mark him anymore. Looking for that very, very subtle bite, which uh, a noodle rod uh, like this can detect the most subtle bites. Here he comes. Boy, I love this little noodle stick here. Oh, nice gal. Loop around. Oh, nice, nice, nice bluegill. Plenty lively. Just slugged the diamond jig. Ah, let's get it back. This noodle rod is so incredibly sensitive. I think it's probably the most forgiving rod for panfish. Um, you know, truth of the matter is, <laughs> you can make a few mistakes with the noodle rod. Um, that fish can go ahead and pick up your bait, 
he's not really going to feel anything. It's like having a small float, yet assuming you're paying attention a little bit, you'll notice that rod bending over or complete slack in it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that is a dead pole right there. That is a dead pole. That is noodle rod flexed out right there. <laughs> Tell me that isn't fun. <laughs> Whoa, um, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm feeling a little bit overmatched right now. Right about in this position you're thinking, when do I make the risk of trying to pull out that transducer? Because if he makes a run, and this is a heavy fish, that's a victory in itself right there. <laughs> heavy fish, heavy, heavy fish. I tell you, fighting these big panfish on a noodle rod is a lot of fun. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this is a panfish. What I do know is it's a heavy, heavy fish. <laughs> wow. I think what's so fun about the noodle rod is not only the bites, but just the actual fight and watching it. I mean, it's very visual. Wow, I think, wow. Hmm. <laughs> Might be a dolphin. <laughs> That's catching him in the rhubarb right there. <laughs> Fishing down in the rhubarb. Meat and salad. I mean, I'll tell you what. Not everybody can do that. That's why these fish are in here. Look at those green weeds. Wow. He wanted a lot of a diamond jig. Amazingly enough, even though Few people will buy these noodle rods for anything besides panfish, what they're, what they're meant for. They'll land big fish, um, no doubt about it. Gonna have to play them. Not gonna be pulling in big fish in 30 seconds, but uh, definitely a lot of fun. There's an old saying, you can give a man a fish or teach him how to fish. But what if you gave him something that taught him how to fish better? Smarter, faster. Seems like you've made a happy man. Markham, tech that makes anglers happy. Some would have you believe things aren't built to last anymore. At Otter Outdoors, every day starts with the same three questions. Is it tougher? Is it stronger? Is it smarter? If the answer is no, we toss it out and start over. With the legendary otter sled, it's built tougher. With a 900 denier shell, it's built stronger. With an extensive line of accessories, it's built smarter. Otter products are built with the hardcore ice angler in mind. Now that's something you can believe in. Mind if I fish with you guys? No, but if you're using custom jigs and spins lures, you better get a bigger bucket. With custom jigs and spins, new tungsten heavy metal jigs, you'll get down to the big ones quickly and catch more and bigger fish. These jigs have been designed by world-renowned Croatian ice fisherman Czechai Matt. Czechai number one with Czechai lures fishing. Go Czechai, go! So when you use custom jigs and spins, try the new tungsten heavy metal ice jigs. Custom jigs and spins, the hottest bait below the ice. Thorn Brothers is your ice fishing headquarters, offering a huge selection of ice fishing gear from ice tackle to ice houses. Thorn Brothers has the best prices on brands you rely on to help you put more fish on the ice. Looking for a custom ice rod? Our in-house custom rod shop makes the most sensitive ice rod you've ever laid your hands on. Stop into our new store located off Highway 65 in Blaine, Minnesota, or browse our large inventory online. Thorn Brothers, helping you make this your most enjoyable ice season ever. Oh, there he is. Feels like a decent fish. Oh, there he's doing that bluegill spin. You know, oh, here we go, there we go. Nice bluegill. And uh, that's on the quiver stick. And the quiver stick is a completely different rod from the power noodle, where the power noodle's all visual, uh, using that soft tip 
as a uh, spring bobber, like a, a strike indicator, the quiver stick is all feel. Um, higher end componentry, uh, real high end graphite all the way to the tip, and very lightweight guides. In fact, the guides on this rod are made out of titanium to keep the mass of the rod very low. And what that does is it helps with the bite detection. The less a rod weighs, the more sensitive it is. Uh, when you feel the tiniest little vibration in the tip, that translates into the blank of the rod a lot better when the rod's lighter. God, this guy's hooked really good, right in the snoot. But definitely a super fish. Uh, not one of our better fish today at all, but uh, a great indication of what a guy can do, what a guy can catch using that quiver stick. And here's what I'm talking about. The quiver stick is a much faster action. If you look at the bend on that rod, it's much faster, and by that I mean it transitions from the rod tip into the stiff portion of the blank, the backbone if you will, a lot quicker. Where the uh, uh, power noodle transitioned well back on the rod, I've got considerable backbone way out here towards the tip. It's a very sensitive rod, and one of the things that I love about this rod is that you've got great control. Where do you think that name for the quiver stick came from? Uh, where it came from is pan fishermen picked up this blank started to fish it, and they were just astounded with the ability to quiver that bait. Where the uh, tip on a power noodle is so soft, you kind of get this endless wiggle or wave. With that quiver stick, you're in perfect control. If you want your jig to rock from one end to the other, you can do that. And of course, where you're always sight fishing with the power noodle, with the quiver stick, it's all feel. Everything translates right up this blank into your hand. And I've got another fish down here, so I'm gonna drop that jig the rest of the way down. See if I can't show you the difference. Nope, there he is. Where that power noodle, everything's visual, quiver stick is all feel. And uh, you can, oh, they're nice crappie. And you can really pick that up with the way the rod handle's designed. I'll explain that in a second. Nice little crappie there. Getting that on plastic with just a little bit of bait on there. We're finding right now that yeah, these fish will chase that plastic around, but they won't close the deal unless there's a little meat on there. Super slab. Let him go. And here's what I mean by how the rod's designed. Uh, the way this rod is intended to be held allows your index finger to come out over the blank. And what that does is it makes it incredibly sensitive. Anything that happens out here just comes like a lightning bolt up that blank into my fingertip. And I'm a kind of guy that likes to stare at the flasher all the way through from starting to work the fish to when I set the hook, where a power noodle guy will look away and start looking at his rod tip. It's all feel for me, and I take in the information visually from the flasher, so it's a completely different way to get to the exact same destination. Oh, there it is. There we go. Yeah. What are you guys? You know, when these fish get tough like that, being able to manipulate the bait just the way you want it is what it's all about. Aha! Come on, buddy. Sometimes it all works out. Mr. Crapiole. Nice fish, right in the lower snoot. It's a good uh, place to have the fish hooked in that he's not going to get away, but it's it's a tough place because there's no place for your thumb. Yeah, it's a full foot shallower here, Chris. I don't know if it's just like a downed big pile of weeds or what it is. Really? But there we go. That's a real nice fish. You know, about an 11-inch crappie. If a guy was into uh, eating crappie, that'd be perfect right there. Not too big, not too small, you know. Heck of a lot of fun, though. Let that guy go. Have a good night, sweetheart. I know there was two more down there. Um, I don't see them on the flasher right now. Um, hopefully they just kind of went off to the sides, but there's something down here in the spot. I'm looking at the flasher and it's a good foot, maybe a foot and a half shallower here. It could be uh, a sand rise or it could be some fallen weeds in a, in a real thick clump that are right under this hole. But whatever it is, when I dropped that spoon down the first time, I had three fish come up right from this, uh, this hole here. So hopefully I can pull them back.
Hello, I'm Dave Markworth. I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. At the Skeeter Boat Center, we carry the Midwest's largest selection of Skeeter fishing boats, all at prices you can afford. And we offer test drives on most models in stock. Our highly trained staff will provide you the personalized service that you deserve. So check us out at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. There's an old saying, you can give a man a fish, or teach him how to fish. But what if you gave him something that taught him how to fish better, smarter, faster? Seems like you've made a happy man. Markham, tech that makes anglers happy. Mind if I fish with you guys? No, but if you're using custom jigs and spins lures, you better get a bigger bucket. With custom jigs and spins, new tungsten heavy metal jigs, you'll get down to the big ones quickly and catch more and bigger fish. These jigs have been designed by world-renowned Croatian ice fisherman Czechai Matt. Czechai number one with Czechai lures fishing. Go Czechai, go! So when you use custom jigs and spins, try the new tungsten heavy metal ice jigs. Custom jigs and spins, the highest bait below the ice. I put that uh, that bumblebee pattern on. Mm -hmm. I'm using that fire tiger all day. I think he's like, what's this? Something new. Yeah, it's a crappie too. There is a fish. Man, are they coming way up under the ice, huh? Yes. Nice gill, really nice gill. You know, I got to feel that one hit up. When they get two, three feet below the ice like that, they're usually tipped up, nose up, and they just inhale your bait. That's a darn nice fish, and he just engulfed those larva. Super fish. Away he goes. Those gills really shot up off the bottom. Really? I've yep. got. They wouldn't, they wouldn't eat on the bottom. They were barely interested at all. And then once I got them to come up a little bit, then they were just hot on it. I wonder if as we get later in the day, I know, you know, bluegills have fair vision. There he is. Boy, did I work him. <laughs> I'm just interested to see what it is and see what I had to work so long. Mud puppy. I had him in there. Mud puppy, that's probably what it is. <laughs> oh, pumpkin seed. There's mine. You got a couple of hot holes here, Chris. Yes, we do. More yes, gills. Do. Ah, this nice. is just a little guy. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There he is. There he is. Boy, I've been working that fish for a while. What are you? Oh yeah, nice. Nice pumpkin seed. Beautiful fish right there. Boy, they don't get much prettier than these big pumpkin seeds. All right. Nice, sweetheart. We had another one flash through there. Right now I was releasing it. I know it's not far away. Not far away. Sometimes just a couple pounds down into the mud, if he's close by, we'll bring him back. There he is. There he is. Well, I've been working that fish for a long time. Ooh, it's got a little weight to it, I know that. Bit like a crappie, kind of just came up with it a little bit. Come on, sweetheart. Doesn't want to come up, I know that. Come on, show yourself. Oh, stay out of that transducer. Stay out of that. Oh, yeah, nice crappie. Nice crappie. Nice. <laughs> that is a nice crappie right there. Boy, I worked that fish for a long time. Finally got it. Great big crappie. And I've got more down there, so we're going to let her go quick. There he is. There he is. They just popped in on the screen on me. Yeah, that's right, crappies. That's what I thought they were. Oh, oh, oh. that's why you wear glasses. Took that one right in the glasses. Woo! All right, you're going right back in the hole because you're too wild for me. 
I'm going back after your friends. It's full contact crappie fishing right there. That would have been a diamond jig to the eyeball without the sunglasses on. Some would have you believe things aren't built to last anymore. At Otter Outdoors, every day starts with the same three questions. Is it tougher? Is it stronger? Is it smarter? If the answer is no, we toss it out and start over. With the legendary Otter Sled, it's built tougher. With a 900 denier shell, it's built stronger. With an extensive line of accessories, it's built smarter. Otter products are built with the hardcore ice angler in mind. Now that's something you can believe in. Hello, I'm Dave Markworth. I'd like to introduce you to the Skeeter Boat Center in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. At the Skeeter Boat Center, we carry the Midwest's largest selection of Skeeter fishing boats, all at prices you can afford. And we offer test drives on most models in stock. Our highly trained staff will provide you the personalized service that you deserve. So check us out at SkeeterBoatCenter.com, where our goal is to help you have fun fishing. Ooh, I like it when that drag spins backwards like that. That's always a good sign. It means I've got some weight down there. Oh yeah. What we got? Rock bass? And trans Ooh, crappie! And a good one. Come here, sweetheart. Ooh, almost got me. There we go. <laughs> Come on. There. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> it didn't make it easy at all. That's for sure. But we're definitely coming into that time of the night where you would really expect these crappies to turn on. Clear water system, uh, we're in shallow water, so it just goes to, uh, to reason that these fish are gonna feed a little bit heavier as the light levels fall down. And that's three crappies here now in just a couple of minutes, so hopefully that school's moving in and turning on. Another sweet fish, let him go. Out you go. I need a rebate. Oh, there he is. There he is, boys. Heavy fish. Heavy fish. Come on, sweetheart. What are you? What are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, take a look at that. Oh, what a nice bluegill right there. <laughs> what a lot of a bumblebee diamond jig. Nice. Let you go. Oh, thank you. Thanks for all the times. You know, regardless of the rod style that you fish with, whether it be the noodle rod, like the power noodle, or this quiver stick, uh, one of the great things about getting a rod from Thorn Brothers is they can customize it to any length you want. Uh, this is a 36 inch quiver stick. I could get this rod 26 inches long if I wanted to fish with it inside of a shack. I could probably get it um, as short as 24 inches. Uh, for tight space work. And the same thing goes for the power noodle. Uh, you get the rod just the way you want it. And of course, they'll customize it with uh, the guides you want, the colors, and of course, any custom signature you want on there. So there's a lot of individuality to a custom from Thorn Brothers. You're just not gonna find anywhere else. They're on the cutting edge as far as design, but they don't cut corners when it comes to personalizing your rod either. Matt Johnson here at Thorn Brothers. We're up here in the custom rod shop. As you know, Thorn Brothers caters to a lot of different species. We make a lot of rods for a lot of different situations. Specifically for panfish, they fall into two major categories. One being visual, one being sensitivity. Within those two categories, if we have to pick our two most popular options to cater to those needs, you start off with the Thorn Brothers Custom Power Noodle Rod. Very popular, probably our number one selling rod here the last couple of years at Thorn Brothers. This is gonna fall into the visual category. You have a fluorescent tip on this rod to where you can see fish bite both on the down bite and the up bite. 
So as you're fishing different presentations, whether it be small custom jigs and spins, diamond jigs, uh, uh, spoons, whatever it might be, you can see fish bite. So as a fish takes the bait, that tip's going to drop. Or if there's a load on it, when the fish picks it up, it's going to pop up. So as far as visual is concerned, this is a go-to. A lot of different options and lengths in this power noodle. Stock standard at 24 inches. We build them with inside guides and outside guides. Our more popular outside guide set is that recoil guide, which is a titanium spring guide. Weighs virtually nothing. Outstanding in outside conditions. What we use is a larger diameter guide. So when you're hole hopping, uh, you don't need to use a spring bobber. The power noodle does just that. So like we're talking about here as far as visibility goes, that power noodle, without a doubt, is the go-to at Thorn Brothers. And like we said, the options are, are endless. You know, talk to anyone there at IDO, you know that you can get about any option customized to fit your need. So visibility, the power noodle is the go-to from Thorn Brothers. When talking sensitivity, uh, we jump gears to our more popular option in that new quiver stick in the recent years. Ultimate sensitivity, you're very familiar with our Panfish Sweetheart line of rods, and we can go down to Finesse Plus, Sweet Thing, and everything in between as far as a sensitivity rod, but that quiver stick is going to take the cake when it comes to being the most sensitive. Very, very sensitive graphite carbon fiber, the most sensitive on the market. We basically have shaven down our Panfish Sweetheart to get a quicker action so that when you're fishing baits as small as 1 80th ounce up to, say, 16th ounce spoons, you have a rod that gives you the utmost sensitivity. We also couple this rod with your recoil spring guides, same as the power noodle outside guides like I just mentioned that are going to give you that titanium feel that weigh virtually nothing, larger diameter guide. So again, you can fish this outside. So if you're tight lining, a term coined by Pat Smith here at Thorn Brothers called pounding, you have the utmost sensitivity to feel exactly what a fish is doing. So when it comes to feeling the bite, the quiver stick from Thorn Brothers is going to be your go-to option. Lonnie Murphy here, our head rod builder, happened to win an NIFC tournament last year on Pelican Lake, fishing the quiver stick rod, one of his personal favorites. So when it comes to sensitivity, quiver stick, sweetheart, sweet thing, finesse plus, there's a variety of options at Thorn Brothers to cater to your needs. And again, no matter the length, no matter the preference, no matter the handle type, you know how we do things. It's a custom rod shop, fully functional to fit your exact needs. If you enjoyed today's show, let our sponsors know. In-Depth Outdoors is brought to you by Markham Technologies, one step ahead. Otter Outdoors, tougher, stronger, smarter. Custom Jigs and Spins, the hottest baits below the ice. FXE Snowsuit, the science of warmth. And Thorn Brothers, your fishing specialty store.